Aum Sum was strolling through a busy hill park on a bright afternoon when something strange huh? happened. A gentle shimmer passed over his face and his eyes tingled as if they were adjusting to sunlight. When Aum Sum focused on a distant tree, its leaves suddenly appeared close, clear, and detailed. Miraculously, <laughs> Aum Sum had gained the power to zoom his eyes like a camera. Curiosity rushed in immediately. Aum Sum looked toward the horizon and slowly zoomed in, watching faraway birds flap their wings as if they were right beside him. He spotted patterns on butterfly wings and cracks forming in an old tree bark. He enjoyed switching between close-ups and wide views, smoothly moving from tiny ants crawling on a stone to clouds drifting high above. Suddenly, dark smoke rose from behind a cluster of hills. Amsum widened his view instantly, scanning the area. Far in the distance, he spotted a small wildfire spreading through dry grass, pushed by strong winds. Even more worrying, tiny moving figures could be seen struggling to find their way. Amsum focused his zoom carefully. Through thick smoke, he spotted a group of hikers. Some were waving, while others crouched low unable to see clearly. Using his zoomed vision, Aum Sum traced the safest route through the forest, identifying open clearings, fallen trees, and areas where the fire had not yet reached. Reaching a high rocky ridge, Aum Sum zoomed in again, guiding emergency teams below by pointing out exact locations and safe directions. Each time the fire moved unexpectedly, Aum Sum adjusted his focus, warning the teams and helping them redirect their path. The hikers were finally safe. They cheered loudly for their hero, Aum Sum. Hmm. It all started one sunny morning when Aum Sum jumped out of bed and never stopped hopping. At first, it was funny. He hopped around the room, bounced down the stairs, and even leapt over the dog bowl with perfect accuracy. Soon, it became clear that this wasn't just a morning burst of energy. He couldn't stop. His legs just kept bouncing. One hop, then another, then another. At school, hopping into class caused a stir. Books flew, desks trembled, and Aum Sum knocked over a globe without even touching it. The teacher tried to calm things down, but Aum Sum was bouncing so fast he could barely hear her. People started calling him the Hopping Kid. At first, Aum Sum felt proud, even a little heroic. But soon, the endless hopping began to wear him out. He couldn't sit. He couldn't eat without spilling everything. His bed sheets were a mess every morning because he bounced in his sleep. He tried wearing heavy boots, tying his legs. His body just refused to stop hopping. One afternoon, while hopping home from school, Aum Sum noticed something unusual near the town's old bridge. A crowd had gathered, pointing toward the riverbank. A little puppy had gotten trapped in a deep, muddy ditch, and the rain had started pouring. Without hesitation, Aum Sum adjusted his backpack and took off. His legs, wild with energy, bounced him through the crowd and down into the ditch with perfect precision. He scooped the scared puppy into his arms and used his bouncing legs to leap up, landing just beyond the crowd to a burst of cheering. Hmm. One bright morning, as Aum Sum picked up his skipping rope, his feet refused to stop. With each skip, he bounced higher and moved faster. At first, it was thrilling. He skipped through down the stairs and out into the garden, laughing as he jumped over flower pots and zoomed past squirrels. Soon, it became clear that this wasn't normal. Aum Sum tried to pause and catch his breath, but his feet kept moving. No matter how hard he tried, the skipping wouldn't stop. He skipped through the neighborhood, weaving around trees, jumping over benches, and causing quite a stir. People pointed, amazed at his endless energy. But Aum Sum was starting to worry. What if he could never stop? As the day wore on, Aum Sum skipped across roads, bounced down pathways, and even leapt over small fences. He crossed rivers using only rocks as stepping stones and darted through crowded markets without knocking over a single thing. News of the skipping boy spread quickly. When a huge traffic jam blocked an ambulance from reaching a nearby hospital, Aum Sum sprang into action. With his rope spinning and legs flying, he leaped over the cars, cleared a path, 
and guided the ambulance safely through. Everyone cheered, but Amsam didn't stop, not yet. Just as the sun began to set, a storm rolled in. Lightning flashed and heavy rains caused a riverbank to overflow. A school bus was stranded on a narrow bridge, water rising fast. Without thinking, Amsam skipped across the slick road, reached the bus and tied one end of his rope to it. Then, with incredible force and precision, he began skipping backward, pulling the bus inch by inch to safety. The children inside clapped as he finally tugged them onto solid ground. By the time the rain stopped, Amsam had become a true hero. Amsam woke up to a bright morning, ready for another fun day of exploring. But the moment he stepped onto the street, something felt strange. The road beneath his feet wobbled like jelly. Before he could take another step, his sneakers began sinking. The entire road had turned into quicksand. The more he tried, faster he sank. Acting fast, he grabbed a long stick from a nearby garden and used it to pull himself onto the grass. Breathing hard, he looked around and saw that every road, street, and path had turned into endless rivers of quicksand. Amsam spotted an old skateboard in his garage and tied empty plastic bottles to the bottom to create a floating board. With a push, he began gliding over the dangerous roads. He wobbled and nearly fell in several times, his heart racing as he zigzagged between streetlights and mailboxes. As he traveled, Amsam noticed the city had turned into a maze. Cars were half sunk and people were trapped on rooftops or climbing trees for safety. Amsam knew he had to help. He remembered the toy shop downtown had inflatable rafts. Carefully steering his floating skateboard, he made his way toward the shop. A sudden breeze sent him crashing into a lamppost, and he clung to it as the board floated away. Thinking quickly, he swung himself onto a parked bus that was barely above the quicksand. From there, he leapt onto a delivery truck and finally reached the toy shop. Inside, he grabbed as many inflatable rafts as he could carry and threw them out to people nearby. One by one, they paddled to safety, cheering for Amsam's clever thinking. Hmm. One lazy afternoon, Amsam was peacefully munching on a sandwich, when without warning, his right hand suddenly tossed the sandwich out of the window. Confused, Amsam tried grabbing another one, but his left hand slapped it away. His hands were no longer listening to him. They had developed a mind of their own. They began drumming on the table and even drawing silly faces on his notebooks. His hands high-fived strangers, waved at dogs, and even tickled his own feet while he tried to sleep. It was chaos. The next morning, things got worse. His hands refused to brush his teeth, instead squirting toothpaste onto the mirror. During breakfast, they flung cereal at the ceiling fan, turning the kitchen into a flying cereal zone. Amsam tried to tie them up with socks, but his hands worked together to wiggle free. School was no better. His hands drew doodles instead of taking notes. The next day, instead of fighting, he handed them a paintbrush and some colors. To his surprise, they started painting beautiful pictures all on their own. Soon, Amsam's wild hands were painting murals around the neighborhood. Crowds gathered to watch scenes of animals, robots, and space adventures. One day, while painting on the wall of the town library, his hands accidentally knocked over a ladder, trapping a kitten high on a ledge. Amsam gasped. His hands froze in shock, but Amsam took a deep breath and shouted instructions to them in his mind. Slowly, they responded. One hand grabbed a long stick, while the other tied a cloth into a loop. They gently rescued the kitten and brought it safely down. Everyone cheered. Amsam's hands had saved the day. Hmm.